Longtime subscribers have seen this rifle before. That's my uh, handy rifle. H&R NEF handy rifle and 357 Magnum. I've had it for a long time. I actually, by the way, saw some of these, two or three of them, at a gun shop, uh, gun shop not too long ago, and they were about $300, which I was surprised because, uh, you know, I used to not consider that. These used to be around $200, and I considered anybody selling them for $300 to be, you know, price gouging or whatever, but, uh, or overpriced, let's just put it that way. But nowadays, since they don't make these anymore, I'd say $300 is a pretty good price on one. And they looked like they were brand new. I don't know where they got them because H&R has been out of business for several years now. But, uh, I mean, you know, Remington bought the, the rights to the name, but the real H&R, you know, they're, they, they went out of business several years ago and they haven't made these or the brake action shotguns in a long time. But anyway, this one, like I said, I've had it for a long time, well over 20 years, probably pushing 25 years. And uh, it had, I don't remember if it had the, uh, it had the standard stock, but I don't remember if the stock on it was wood or synthetic. I kind of think it was synthetic. But I bought a, a rifle at a gun show, one of these handy rifles, in 223. And, uh got it for a really good price. I think I gave like $140 for it or something like that. And it had this Choke Survivor stock set on it. And uh, I swapped the stock set out on this 357 pretty quickly. And uh, it's been that way ever since. It's got, uh, you know, this, this but stock opens up and there's a storage space inside and there's also a uh, smaller storage space in the fore end. And uh, that's a great little rifle. But anyway, oh, uh, in another video I mentioned the nine primers that I um, removed from the 40 caliber brass that did not fire. And uh, the Russian primers and I actually loaded those, reloaded those primers into uh, 357 Magnum brass or no, 38 special brass. Yeah. So here we've got it, got one of them and you can probably see that the primer has a dent in it although it did not go off because uh, I tried to fire those in my uh, 40 caliber high point carbine. So anyway, like I said, I, I reloaded the, pushed those primers out and reloaded them in this 38 special brass over a cheap load cast bullet and uh, I'm going to see if those will fire in, uh, in this little rifle and I think they probably will. So without further ado, let's try them. Oh, I did want to point out that for some reason I've got 10 rounds. I ended up, when I was loading them, I ended up with 10 rounds. So that means that one of those I inadvertently must have loaded a, an actual fire primer in it. So one of these should not fire. If all 10 of them fire, I'm going to be baffled.
So far, so good. That's 40 caliber. That's not going to work. Again, dented primer. I should have got a few of these ready to begin with before I started. Fire two, so three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There should be two more. Nine, ten. Okay. Like I said, one of these should not fire. Let's find out. I'm not trying to load them fast because I'm trying to not drop these empties on the ground so I don't have to pick them up. Okay. So that was the bad primer. Okay. I'm glad one of them didn't fire because there's no way I can get ten primers out of nine. That's a great rifle. 